I feel a new presence of God in my life right now. A new. And it's wonderful. It's because of his grace. He doesn't reward me according to his struggle. He rewards me according to who he is and who I am. I am his. That's the fatherhood. When you know the fatherhood, when you present yourself to the fatherhood, when you dwell in the fatherhood, you the prodigal child. You're going to celebrate every day with God. You're going to feast on the best every day because you are in Christ Jesus. And this is who you are. God wants you wealthy. You think he doesn't? Why would the scripture teach us that money answers all things if money were evil? See, we have the wrong outlook on the very thing that this world has run off. We are the government. We are the powerhouse of this earth. We are the manifestation of the kingdom of God. We don't chase wealth. It rightfully belongs to us and already dwells inside of us. Money is a holy thing in the eyes of God. Son, if you don't have good news for broke people, you're not anointed. If you don't have immediate results, immediate manifestation power when you speak, brother, you really ain't got too much. When you walk in the room, the waves of the Lord should move so mighty and viciously that the dolphins start singing a thousand miles in the sea from your location. The wind should start to rise up. The trees should start to bloom and blossom. The birds should start to rejoice on that whole city when you show up. Because when you show up, God shows up. When you show up, the King of Kings shows up. And all His majesty, all His honor, all His glory, all His power, all His life shows up with it. In the fullest riches, in His fullest measure, shows up with it. There are so many who experience a disconnect when it comes to spirituality and money. That's the spirit of religion to disconnect you from everything, to have all the Christians in one church and say, well, we can't, we're the bloods. We can't talk to the crips. We can't talk to the doctors. We shouldn't talk to the psychologists. That's demonic. That's new age. We're so religious, but I break that spirit off the body of Christ right now. I break that old principal demon of pride off the body of Christ and everyone that heats unto my voice. Shaking in the Holy Ghost. Running in the Holy Ghost. Fill me Yahweh with more strength than ever. Fill us almighty with more power than ever. Fill us almighty God with more spirit than ever. Fill us almighty God with more adrenaline than ever. Fill us almighty God with more increase than ever. Fill us almighty God with a call every time. Accuracy every time. Slim dunk like Michael Jordan every time. Jeff Gordon in the car every time. Tiger Woods hit the birdie every time. In Jesus Christ. Touchdown every time. In Jesus Christ. Kick the soccer ball through all them demons and hit the goalie. Take on the victory every time in Christ. Jesus wins every time. Exaltation. Don't, no hesitation. Replace hesitation with exaltation. And you're going to be in preparation of receiving, 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 receiving. You prepare things to receive. You prepare and organize and clean your room to receive something from God. The expectation receives it. The expectation are the hands that are open to God that receives it. Expectation is the spirit. I love getting deep in the Lord. I love moving in God. I love bobbing my head for the Lord. I love jumping up and down for Jesus. A little stomping on the mountain shouting hallelujah. You will find this book to be confrontational and empowering. 